thanks for tuning into my channel, welcome back. We are going to see how the grades of every student are displayed in this video in the form of graphs, and we'll focus on getting access to data easily. Currently, you are looking at the following screen is the preview of the file already created. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to make the fully automated sheet that all learners can understand. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to make the fully automated sheet that all learners can understand. The spreadsheet had the names of the students, their grade, their monthly individual marks, the average of their average marks, and what grade they achieved. It should be noted that the names are only imagined and for illustration purpose only. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for more tutorials. The spreadsheet had the names of the students, their grade, their monthly individual marks, the average of their average marks, and what grade they achieved. It should be noted that the names are only imagined and for illustration purposes only. Excel's unique function returns a list of unique values within a list or range. Repetition is excluded and only one value is extracted. In this case the value is grade, which is a text formatted value. An initial step I will create a list of the unique values derived from the grades. To include cells in the list, click Data tab, then click Data Validation, select List from drop-down menu, and then include the selected cells. In order to extract values from a student's class, we will use the unique function once again. This time, the class will be displayed according to the grades selected. The filter function filters the data according to the search criteria. The search criteria are called arguments in Excel. Unique function takes unique values and displays them from the arrived results, see this. In the example above, if no student in class 2 achieved grade A, class 2 will not be included in the list. Let's check and confirm. Grade B is selected, and all the classes show up. It means some of the students from all the classes have achieved grade B now grade A is selected, class 2 is not displayed. It means no students from all the classes have achieved grade A. To include cells in the list, click Data tab, then click Data Validation, select List from drop-down menu, and then include the selected cells. As the grade is selected from the drop-down list, the grade is displayed in the cells. It is also known as a dependent drop-down menu. Displayed data depends on the values selected from the primary list and the dependent list. As you watch this video, notice how the lists change as they are selected and also as in when a formula is typed, look at the formula bar. The next step is to create a filter for the student's name. Pay close attention to the formula bar and the floating screen for details on the filter formula. Type equals filter and open bracket, select all the cells from the student names, arguments are then derived from data that we select from drop-down menus.
In this filter function, we use multiple criteria to meet our expected result. Please check the address bar to follow the formula. As you watch this video, notice how the lists change as they are selected and also as in when a formula is typed, look at the formula bar. Another list is being created for student names. The cell can be populated with student marks based on the selected drop-down list. This could be possible and easy with VLOOKUP as well. However, the main purpose is to work on the filter function throughout the video to make it easier to understand. Check the formula on the screen, THT derived the result in the selected cell. Lists are successfully done, let's check and compare the result with the main table. Here it is, selected names and the marks are showing up as we expected. Let's get the graph ready now. Ok, in order to prepare it, we must first build a small table with monthly marks. We use similar filter function to populate the average marks obtained by each student individually in one formula. 
how to create individual marks displayed for each student in all row. This is possible with the selection of required data from the main and the dependent lists created. It's a wonder to see it changing and displaying on the graph. If you like it comment below. We are making the average marks to be displayed for only January. Because, copy the formula and pasting the formula on rest of the cells will work well with dollar sign. You should watch the floating screen and formula bar for the current formula. The formulas in cells without dollar signs tend to change as they are moved from one cell to another. For marks for the month of January, we have selected the cell supposed to be selected without the dollar sign, as it could shift with the formula, when copied and pasted. All other selected cells, which don't shift with the formula, need to be added with the dollar symbol. Due to the fact that the cells are stationary, and searches are being conducted on them repeatedly, regardless of the number of times they are searched. Due to the dollar signs being placed on the cell selection, that does not need to be moved, since the formula is copied and pasted. The dollar signs are now being added to the formula, so let's take a closer look at how it is being done and copied onto the following cells. If you copy and paste a formula, you should paste it on the right side of the copied cell with the selected cells shifted to the right. Using the actual results displayed on the table, you can now compare the marks displayed in the cells containing results. Extractions and derivatives are produced. Now we'll move on to the final stage of this video, in which we'll make a graph that makes life easier for everyone looking at this sheet. Select the data that we have finally arrived at and click on the insert tab. Select a chart from the recommended charts or the one you want to use from the choose chart section. Remember, that your data that do not meet the criteria to meet the chart requirements. Now that the chart is created, Let's expand its size to ease our view. Change its appearance and click on the plus sign on its right side to check or uncheck the boxes that actually displays or hides the data on the chart.
check out the changes in the chart, as the data is changed on the main and dependent lists. See the average marks is displayed underneath the lists and simultaneously the graph changes as well. Hope you like this video. Comment below to get this file for free. Subscribe and support the free Excel tutoring on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for more tutorials.